Hi, and welcome to uh, this video tutorials. In this video tutorials, uh, you're gonna learn about scripting and transforming HTML table into Pandas data frame. Uh, if you have found data on the web page in the form of HTML table and that you want to transform into a data frame for data analysis. So this video tutorials will help you to uh, know how to do that. All right, uh, here we have uh, given a URL about that data. That is a list of postal codes of Canada. Uh, this list of postal codes of Canada contains uh, different informations. Uh, basically, this uh, table uh, contains postal code, uh, borough, and neighborhood. So uh, some uh, values are not assigned. The neighborhood and boroughs are not assigned. So we are going to drop that part, and we are going to uh, script and transform uh, required uh, data from this uh, table. This table, uh, every cell in this table uh, contains uh, both uh, postal code, borough and uh, neighborhood. So we are going to uh, separate into three columns. Uh, the first column is a postal code. All the postal codes are transformed into uh, the first column. The second column in the data frame would be uh, the borrow and the third column and, uh, in the data frame uh, will be the neighborhood. So how can we transform? How can we extract and transform into this a structured uh, way of uh, uh, data? Uh, uh, data. Okay, all right. Uh, let's uh, get started. Go back to the notebook and uh, import required uh, libraries. Beautiful soap, uh, this is important for data scrapping. And requests uh, also help us to send and receive uh, an HTTP request and response from the web browser. And pandas also help us to uh, uh, data manipulation and regular expression. Uh, RE is also help to remove uh, if there are any special characters or uh, and un un unnecessary uh, data in the uh, in our data. All right, here we have uh, provided the URLs that we are going to send uh, an HTTP request. Uh, then uh, using requests.get, we pass the URL into this method and this request is send an HTTP request to the web browser. The web browser is uh, respond an HTTP uh, response to the client, all right. Then the client check that if it is okay or not. Just if, if it responds uh, to uh, zero, zero, that is okay. So we are going to continue uh, 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 our work. Okay, then the beautiful soup, uh, just extract the content or parse the HTML content from this response, uh, from this response. Beautiful soup, we pass the response dot content and uh, we pass, uh, into this function that is html.parser that going to parse the html uh, document. All right, we can check that uh, this uh, html document uh, is parsed from the web page. Uh, all right, and from this web, uh, web page, we are looking for the first table in the uh, document, html document, that is a table which contains uh, all the information that's uh, uh, we need. Okay, then uh, what we are going to do is here, uh, just uh, find the table data, uh, get the first table tag and find all the table rows in the form of list. The table uh, data HTML dots, HTML page dots, table dots, find all, find all uh, TR tag. All right, let's check. Let's check the table data, uh, which is in the form of list, which is uh, extracted in the form of list from the HTML document or page. All right, let's try to see 
for example, the first item from the list. The first uh, item is one which contains one row. Uh, in this row, there are multiple columns. So we are going uh, to uh, extract the columns value from this uh, row. The column value, uh, I mean, the column value uh, is in the form of TD tag. From that TD, uh, TD tag, there are three information in the single uh, column value. In the single value, uh, there is a postal code not assigned. That is what a, a borrow and neighborhood. But uh, in this uh, in this case, uh, we are going to drop the uh, if the borrow is not assigned, which that is not important because it has no uh, any longitude latitude information in this data. Okay. Uh, okay, let's look, for example, the third item in the list. Uh, all right. The third item uh, contains the borough and also neighborhood. And the postal code is in the B tag, the bold tag. And we are looking for this tag and the text from this, uh, from each uh, table value, from each column value. And the span column also uh, includes the borough and neighborhood. And we're looking for this uh, tag and extract that uh, data. Uh, all right, uh, let's, uh, in this case, let's iterate over each. Let's create a data uh, function, parse table, and we parse table data. Uh, let's create an uh, empty uh, dictionary which contains the postal code, neighborhood, and borrow. And we are going to iterate over uh, each uh, table data for every row in the table data. Uh, here, from this, let's find the TD tag, the TD tag, TD. Uh, from this, we find a single uh, TD, a single TD. From that, we are looking for uh, the B tag, for example, dot find uh, B. From that, we are looking for the text. Yeah, the first uh, dimension just uh, extract that. So in this case, uh, a single uh, table row contains multiple columns. So find the TD, we uh, also create another uh, for loop that I trade over each uh, columns in the row. Row dot find all TD. We are looking for TD tag in the row for all uh, TD tag. Uh, from this, uh, from TD tag, we are going to find the B tag, and that is the code of the postal code, code TD dot find B. From that tag, we extract the text only. Uh, also, we are looking for a span. A span contains the, look, this is the borrow inside this uh, bracket uh, list of uh, neighborhoods. So let's find the borrow td dot find span from that we just get the text. All right, now, uh, but uh, this uh, probably, for example, if we let's try to see the first item, the first item, the borrow is not assigned. So we are going to uh, just skip if the borrow is not assigned. A skip if borrow is not assigned. If So 
so we can just use continue, just skip. All right, now uh, let's get back to the third item in the list. Uh, from this uh, item, the boroughs and the neighborhoods are in the same uh, a single uh, in the same a single uh, string. So we are going to extract separate the borough from the neighborhood. So uh, we just split this uh, using the right side uh, bracket. Uh, for example, let's split this. The split using right side bracket, and let's try to see. Just uh, a single uh, data in this uh, borrow data is uh, split into two list item. The first item is the borrow, and the second item is <coughs> neighborhood. From this list, we are going to just uh, find uh, the first item as a borrow. All right. Uh, now, borrow. dot split using right side. And from that, we get the first item. All right, what about the neighborhood? Uh, here, the neighborhood is also uh, the second item, but we are going to use a regular expression to extract that. So regular expression is important in this case. Let's try find all from that which contains this dot the square okay then separate the data is this uh, and pass this all right that is uh, find just inside the bracket only from that single data and from that, uh, just uh, put in the list. And from that list, all are in the first item, a single item in the list. So we are going to just find the indexing mechanism and we extract. But still, uh, each uh, neighborhood in, the, in this is separated by forward slash. That is not important in, in our data. So we, we are going to separate each neighborhood in a single uh, borrow uh, is separated by comma. So we are going to split this, I mean, uh, sorry, replace this by forward slash. Here, look for this data. The forward slash uh, contains uh, uh, both side spaces. So we are going to avoid that space and we replace by comma, exactly. This is the data that we want, we need, neighborhood data. So we just replace that here. Neighborhood, borrow dots, I mean, uh, regular expression dots, find all. Backslash dots asterisk question mark. We put this and we pass the borrow underscore this data. From that data, we just uh, extract the first item and replace for the slash by comma, the comma has no space, just put. And finally, we are going to append into the dictionary, append into the dict data postal code, append the code. We also append the borrow. And finally, we append 
in neighborhood. Okay, all right. Now we are going to return that data, return the dictionary data. Okay, let's run and uh, Okay, the data, let's find parse table. Let's pass the table data from uh, this one to the function. And let's transform this to uh, data frame, pd dot data frame and look for that data. All right. Let's explore the data. All right, this is what we want. All postal codes are transformed into postal column. Boroughs are extracted, neighborhoods are extracted. All we get three uh, column data and 103 rows from that unstructured data from the web page we seen. Thanks for watching.